Power, Deception, Propaganda. A new book by James O'Keefe. Pre-order now at AmericanMuckraker.com. Get blow darts of J&J &J and go to the unvaccinated and blow it into them. Blow dart it into them. I remember reading about how with COVID trials, they were having an issue recruiting African-American people. Can't blame them. I can't, but at the same time, like, blow dart. It's where we're going. There needs to be a registry of the people who aren't vaccinated. Although that's sounding very Germany. The Germany that you're thinking of is it? Nazi Germany. I mean, think about it like the Jewish star. He looks like the FDA or something. Yeah. So Again. In, so in order. Low dark. <laughs> it is the perfect answer. <laughs> and since J and J is an mRNA, you have no issue of it counteracting with anything else. So again, you just shoot everyone. It's like drones. Drone darts. Easy. How do we reach the minority populations? Blow darts is always the answer. Yes. I will cheers to that. Yes, cheers. And the people who are like, oh, the vaccine's terrible, it's the Antichrist, are like, yes, our savior. <laughs> so if they start handing out vaccines, I'm going to go door to door and stab everyone. Oh, it's just your booster shot. Stick your arm out. Exactly. What's that? Oh, it's just a vitamin C shot. Again, if you're an undercover journalist, you can't quote me. Again, if you're an undercover journalist, you can't quote me. The government doesn't want to show that the darn vaccine is full of shit. It needs to be a registry of the people who aren't vaccinated. That's sounding very Germany. I'm gonna go door to door and stab everyone. Oh, it's just your booster shot. Don't go to the she didn't want to take it because of her religious beliefs. She was coerced into taking it. They are not reporting because they want to show it on the, the map. So they're testing on the white people now. How do we reach the minority population? Blow darts would probably still our most feasible option. Blow darts is always the answer. Yes. Cheers for that. Yes. He looks like the FDA or something? Yeah. I remember reading about how with COVID trials, they were having an issue recruiting African-American people, and it was because of a different medication the government tried to do that was specifically designed to kill African-Americans. Oh, so like a mistrust thing. Yeah. But so this thing's safe, though. And we know that now, yeah. but like, again, I think there is still this big mistrust in, like, it's deep-rooted in... Yeah. Can't blame them. I can't, but at the same time, like, low dart. It's where we're going. Yeah. yeah. I mean, my personal thing is, like, you know, get blow darts of J and J. And again, I, I'm a what little do you mean, cynical. Blow darts of J and J. Yeah, Johnson Johnson. What do you mean? Like, go to the unvaccinated, blow it into them, blow dart it into them. Yeah. That's, that's where I am at this point. How do we reach the minority populations? Is there a way to do it? I want to get back to normal. I'm sure there is. I'm not the person to answer it, though, mm. other than blow darts. Because <laughs> I think that is a great solution. <laughs> well, the problem with that is uh, African-Americans, they might think that it's like almost like a callback to like getting shot by like the... It's fine. The we'll slave. go for the whites first. Oh, there you go. We'll post like video campaigns about doing it to the whites first, and then they Perfect. can't call it. Then they can't say it's racist. Exactly. Because, it, again, it, it, it almost harkens back to, like, the thought yeah, of being exactly. shot in Africa by a blow dart and then yeah. put in a... We'll have to hire some answer. Amazonians first. Yes. Because, like, they'll get it done. How good are you at blowing darts? <laughs> Want to see how fast they get an Amazon rainforest tribe out here? Yeah, but I mean, the undocumented immigration isn't much of an issue as, like, a lot of people make it out here. I think the issue again is if it's a large population of people who are going to choose not to get vaccinated because they don't want to admit that they're, they are undocumented, again, you're going to create this issue where it's you've got the anti vaxxers and the people who are choosing not to for that reason, and then you have the vaccine. Again. The obvious yeah, answer <laughs> is blood darts. <laughs> if we just stick everyone again with the J and J to make sure that everyone's got something, we're good. <laughs> I know there's enough to go around, so I mean, it's just how to it's so again so in order. Blow darts. <laughs> it is the perfect answer. <laughs>
And since J&J is an mRNA, you have no issue of it counteracting with anything else. So again, you just shoot everyone. I don't know what kind of technology we have right now, like miniature sort of blow darts or anything like that. Stuff like drones. Drone darts. Easy. The white, uneducated, like... It's like all of the colloquial people that we see in like Alabama and all this, and it's like... Apparently you need an IQ test, and if you fail below a certain level of IQ, you're getting a shot. That's a good idea. <laughs> that would probably put a lot of shots in arms. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I mean, how feasible is that, though? That's less feasible than the blow darts. <laughs> <laughs> I think the blow darts are probably still our most feasible option. All right, cool. And, like, the funding's there. It's easy to do. Blow darts. That's all we need. We're done. Yeah. Seriously. <laughs> it's terrible, but at this point I'm like, I don't care about your bodily autonomy. Because it's not just your bodily autonomy that you're putting in jeopardy. You see any of that stuff going on with, uh, like, uh, what's her name? Uh, Nicki Minaj. I mean, I, I just don't understand why she's opening up her mouth and, and causing more harm. You know? Well, see, the issue is that, like I just said, we look at it as harm because we think and like I think most educated people would think the vaccine is a good thing. Whereas, you know, on the other side of the coin, the people who are like, oh, the vaccine's terrible, the Antichrist, are like, yes, our savior. <laughs> so my, my dad doesn't know anything. So I, 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 not on your, on, my problems with him were not on your level, but my problems with him were like, um, He's anti-vax. Okay. He's, um... So we need a blow dart to go visit him. <laughs> yeah. Yes. So. Hey, Dad, stick your arm out. Exactly. <laughs> What's that? Oh, it's just a vitamin C shot. Exactly. <laughs> In my opinion, the fitness industry dealing with this, like, you have to force it door to door. Yeah. And what are the chances of that happening? I mean, census goes door to door if you don't respond. So, we have the infrastructure to do it. it costs a ton of money. Mm. But I think at that point, there needs to be a registry of the people who aren't vaccinated. Although that's sounding very Germany at the same point. But, I mean, we have to get back to normal. Oh. I agree. It's hard. Yeah. Because I don't think there is, a, again, like I said before with other things, I don't think there's a good choice. There isn't a black or white choice. There's only gray choices. Because mm -hmm. the black or white isn't feasible. Yeah, I'm at the level where I'm like, honestly. I agree. I'm also there. But what I think and what the government will actually do are very different. Mm. You know, because if they start handing out vaccines, I'm going to go door to door and stab everyone. Oh, it's just your booster shot. There you go. There you go. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not a trained licensed professional. It's fine. I mean, you could, you could tell them it's like a flu shot or something. It's a monthly. I mean, I'm sure they don't take that either. So the death rate's gone down. It's. This is the one thing that I hate about statistics is, you know, sometimes you can play with them in the way that you want to show the information. Because you can definitely do that, you know. If you let COVID kill off everyone over 60, let's say, everyone under that age is going to have an easier recovery period for the most part. So the death rate would obviously go down. It's like, oh, we're doing a great job. Death rate's down. But it's like, okay, you've killed off like 400 million people. Yeah. Hmm. And again, that's one of the things about statistics. It's like, oh, if you play around, sometimes you can find the thing to tell you what you want it to tell you. Well, I just figured that it would be a no-brainer that they would push for the booster shots. I yeah, I'm... Again, I understand FDA's position because it was like, oh, yeah, they only... They only produce the data for 65 and older with these booster shots, so they don't have the data to say, oh, yeah, it does the same thing for 20-year-olds. And it's like, okay... But do we think it's harmful for 20-year-olds to get a booster shot? 
this is my question to MDA. And it's like, they're like, they didn't provide enough data. And it's like, okay, I get it. But I don't at the same time. Hmm. But that's my personal opinion. Hmm. Again, if you're an undercover journalist, you can't quote me. Yeah. So this is the thing that's always like really crude as an economist is we have a certain value that we put on each human life. And so when I think about like government mandates like that, I think about it in those terms, which you know is terrible because I think each human life is priceless in its own self, but like, okay, so if you give a million vaccines and two of them are blood clots, okay, you have a loss of $10 million about in your like government regulation type world framework. Because each, each life accounted for about $5 million. And again, it can range and all that stuff. But like, okay, so if you can, if you give these million vaccines, you get everything back to normal, are you making more than that $10 million loss or are you not? And that's the way that like we're trained to like try and think about these things in terms of cost-benefit analysis, that type of stuff. Again, my own opinion is very different, but... So you're trained... Can you explain that in layman's terms better? Yeah, so, like, with our econ training, with, like, when I learned how to do my job... Will they, like, ever play politics with, like, the science? Or? So, I would think that the general people there, so the people who are the actual scientists, no. But there are political appointees that are generally scientific advisors mm. who are appointed by the president or the commissioner. Mm. So they definitely do. Yeah. Because, you know, they're being paid based on if the other people are staying in power. Unfortunately, everyone ends up playing politics. But I don't think that the career scientists are. I think that it's the people that they're unfortunately having to report to because these political appointees are being put in place. And that's part of like the, the Senate confirms the people to then just pick their people. 